From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And, folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white lines. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up, and instinctively you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yes, yeah, a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for the thank you for the notice. Four yards. Line of scrimmage moves from their own 25 all the way to the red zone now for first and 10. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. The intended target, Saquon Barkley. And now it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Allen now going to throw again. That's complete to Calvin Johnson. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Allen on third, and he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. Yeah, you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. This will be taken very short. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. nowhere losing yardage back at the 22 that's gonna go as a loss of two and it'll be second down first play of the drive goes the wrong way here's second and 12. On second down, this is Jackson. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. On third down. Peyton had a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. He's able to chew up eight yards on the carry there, but still fourth down upcoming. On is the Hall of Famer, Ray Guy, to punt this away on fourth down. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lot behind it. Wow. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. 
The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. 43 is the mic. Check, 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 check. Allen now on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he's out right at the 25. 19 yards there on the catch and run. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. comes in one, and it's Allen. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it'll be a second down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Defense wins championship. The first carry for the former Indy Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in, and it's a hard to defend. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. What an advantage having a elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. 45 Third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. That's caught by the 6'8 tight end, Zach Gentry. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Allen going to come to the line here, first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. From the gun, it's Allen. Dancing to his left. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Hey, Charlie. 43. Check, check, 43. What's the run? They're running it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, he's going to take a shot for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Mean Joe Green drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. 
These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny when we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine some... Accelerating, and off he goes. The 40, the 20, 10, and on the way in for a Miami touchdown. A great play there. 81 yards, as his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness to it? Just getting there and taking off and going for the defensive guys. Plays like that really hurt. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They had fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. On second and seven, Allen. Man open, that's Terrell Owens. Seven yards there and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. Hey, box drop, box drop. Throwing on first down is Allen. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, and you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And an alley to run. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. That's caught by Jackson. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. To throw again on second down, Allen. It's caught by Jackson. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. From the gun, he'll throw. He finds his tight end, Gentry. And he takes it all the way down to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. What a luxury to have a tight end that can not only catch it, but then can run after the catch like that. What was the old expression back in the good old days that they used to carry pianos yeah. on their backs <laughs> when they were after they caught the football? Someone would stop and bang out a tune along the way as well. But nowadays, 
These guys are essentially bulked up wide receivers, and they are a full part of the passing game. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, oh, it was hit at the line of scrimmage and intercepted. Picked off by the former USC man, Taylor Mays. And down inside the red zone at the 19-yard line. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? On second and 12, Allen. He'll hit Jackson complete. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Allen, and got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Zach Gentry in the final seconds of the first half, and the Texans have retaken the lead. Extra point by Stenerud, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Following the touchdown, here's Stenerud to kick it away. Fair catch called for and taken just inside the 10-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one, go to the locker room, start over. Right back to him on first down. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They'll keep it on the ground again here. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Oh, he's got some breathing room. He's at the 40, past the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Walter Payton, 65 yards. And now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. Extra point by Stenerud, up and good. And that will put them on top here in the third. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken about seven yards deep. Watch 
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start ahead. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Mean Joe Green able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Well, they brought the lead into this third quarter, and now they're really stepping up, setting a tone here defensively. They came right out roaring because you had to know that in the locker room, they talked about setting that tone that you just described, continuing the dominance that they exhibited in the first half. After the sack on first down, Allen, this one caught by Terrell Owens. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. On third down, Allen. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll be marked down deep on Miami's side of the field. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Reggie White, what a force. Got back there for the sack. Hey, hey, Will. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. And oh, it'll be intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. Turn will get him all the way down to the 35. But I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. They'll run on first down. Peyton. Oh, and now he bowls him over. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first down, it's Jackson. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. Now again, right side, Peyton. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Jackson. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the night. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Extra point by Stenerud. Up and good. And the lead is up to eight. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken short. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone, costly. 
bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot. Who are you thinking you got three on the board for sure? And to come over with nothing? That's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? 23 yards on the play. Now Saquon Barkley. Now they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'll run it again with Barkley. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's Texans football, but they trail here as we get started in the fourth quarter. 56-56. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And Barkley did not get there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. This is Johnson. He's got it. And he's got Let's the go. first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Hey, well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. A first down carry for Barkley. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The tackle there by Cravon LeBlanc. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. the run, it's Barkley. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much through the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. They'll run with Harris, and he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. Here's Franco Harris looking for a seam but finding none. We'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They face a critical third and goal now in a one-score game. They run with Harris, and he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Franco Harris taking it in as they now sit just a two-point conversion away from tying this game up in the fourth quarter. A big spot now for the Texans as they'll try for two. to throw and he's not going to get there the defense able to come up with a big stop and they're going to hold on to their two point lead following the touchdown here's Stinnerud to kick it away And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at the 40. They'll run here with Bo. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. And that one got tipped, kind of threw out.
Everything off. It brings up third. That's what I'm talking about. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. <laughs> On third down, Peyton. Yeah, he needed to get to the midfield stripe, but he can't do it. He's about a yard short. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll keep it on the ground. Peyton, and he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Check four, check four. They'll run now with Bo Jackson. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They run again with Jackson. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. So here we go, Charles, third down. Any chance you're throwing? I don't think so. I think you got to keep the clock rolling here. And indeed, they will keep it on the ground. It'll go as... 